Yes, those are the straight edge X's. Okay, um, honestly, I didn't finish this documentary. I plan on watching it. I mean, it's good so far. Uh, but, yeah, um, good stuff so far. So, from what I understand about Straight Edge, and from what I've learned, I mean, most, and this isn't just from listening to CM Punk talk, as much as I am a fan of him, um, it's more than that. So from what I understand, Straight Edge is a hardcore punk kind of movement that revolves around not smoking, drinking, you know, alcohol, drugs, um, cigarettes, etc. Uh, no casual sex. And see, the thing is, I agree and believe in all of those ideals. I also think people can live their life to the way they choose. Shoot, if someone wants to smoke a blunt, that's their decision and it's not my position to tell them that they shouldn't but in the same time I just don't think it's the best thing for me to be doing as I can do so much more with my life and there's so much I can be doing rather than giving myself over to substances but I mean I don't know if there are other parts of the, ma the straight edge I was talking to my friend he is not straight edge at all but he said he has a straight edge friend and it might have something to, he said it has something to do with like pornography or whatever I don't know about masturbation or whatever that might have to do with straight edge I don't know if there are different levels like someone that maybe just doesn't smoke and drink um, so I don't know you tell me about the different levels of straight edge or if there's one definite definition also I don't believe in straight edge people should have contempt for non straight edge I feel like it's just a matter of lifestyle and decisions but my question to you and my question to you is am I straight edge am I what and by the way I didn't wear this to school or anything cuz I just put them on badly when I got home um so my question is am I straight edge cuz I believe in not having casual sex I mean cuz that's just messed up and for me that does include making out that does include just acts like that that are based on lust rather than trying to build any sort of relationship you feel me um i don't believe in drugs or alcohol uh cigarettes even cigars you know just anything that controls your mind i mean sure i'll have an energy drink but i don't think that counts i just like the taste you know but i don't do anything alcoholic unless you count rum cake which i don't <laughs> so i mean in that aspect i am but my question but I'm not you know really into the music and all that like yet I mean I listen to hardcore stuff and some punk I'm not here to define things because I'm not exactly good when it comes to sort of that hardcore movement the whole punk metal emo etc I really couldn't tell you the difference between a lot of screamo versus metal I couldn't tell you the difference between you know thrash metal versus uh, hardcore metal or any of those I couldn't tell you I don't think it makes me ignorant per se but I think it just means I don't really care about the topic in and of itself and that labels are very unimportant to me however the reason I ask is because I feel like some labels are worth taking on for me Juggalo was a label worth taking on um, I am into the Juggalo music, and basically the only requirement for that is not being a bigot, uh, having respect for the family, and I guess having respect for the artist is psychopathic. I don't think you have to like them, but I guess you have to have a certain amount of respect for what they've done, whether you you know personally like them or not. So if anybody can get to me, one, do you have to like the music to necessarily to be straight edge? Um, or to call yourself straight edge and two what are the requirements I mean or are there I mean of course the thing about straight edge is there are requirements kinda like you could say juggalo has no requirements but if you're a racist I mean any juggalo would punch you in the face if you're a racist trying to call yourself a juggalo cuz you just it's just wrong I mean it's just you can't be exactly what the juggalo stand against and still call yourself that it's 
self-contradictory. That's like a skinhead. And skinhead calling themselves a juggalo, you can't do that. Um, you, you just can't. Um, also, is, is straight edge juggalo a contradiction? I mean, not really, but for me, I mean, if I am a straight edge, then I'm both. And is it a contradiction? I know CM Punk was dissing the Juggalos in one show, but also if anybody can answer this, does CM Punk actually have a problem with Juggalos, or was that his character? I mean, I haven't found anything on that yet. I really want to know, like, if he actually, you know, has a distaste for Juggalos, or if he just... You know, that was just his character. By the way, if any of you don't know, this is my Chris Hero t-shirt, and I love it. Um, so, if any of you straight-edge people, I'm sure, uh, or anybody who's just aware of it, can get back on me as to what you think defines somebody as straight-edge, um, and just what it really means to be straight-edge, uh, the requirements, and do you have to listen to the music to be straight-edge, just to sum up the video. So, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> and peace. <laughs>